If you've got a street car that's mean in the streets, skimpy in the sheets, but, you know, sits on jack stands like 90% of its time, A while ago, I finished up a disc brake swap in all four corners. It's, it's breaking. That's, that's. But the rear is breaking way too hard to the point where I'm not even 100% convinced we fully bedded in the front brake pads. Like, just look at that. That looks pretty fresh and she's got some miles on her. So here's a look at the rear rotors. As you can see there, you know, rotors and doing things. So to dial in and finish off our brake system, we're gonna plumb in a Willwood proportioning valve and we're gonna throw in a two pound bare brakes residual valve. And we'll get to why that's important. Foreshadowing, yeah, that right, right there is your sign that that's a brake line that's disconnected and it's not leaking. So I'll get to why that one's important for this particular installation later. Mainly because I'm an idiot and curious, we're gonna take an IR temp probe and we're gonna go drive this thing around a little on the street and see what the temperature difference is front to back because my thought process is here that the rears are working overtime and the fronts are just basically along for the ride. Kinda of like me in this instance. Once I get the proportional valve installed, we're gonna go back out there and see if it does anything different. And to answer your question from the last breaking video, did I fix the steering issue? No, I still use this piece of tape to tell me if I'm going straight or not, or in this case, slightly to the left is now straight. So I just finished up a little bit of driving in our neighborhood. I'm gonna get out and we're gonna IR temperature probe read 9000, the brake rotors, and see if what we got a difference front and back, and well, learn things together. Now we got the car all warmed up, we've got some test results, let's go stick our hand in all the things that are hot now. This is gonna make this project way easier. Before we do that, got a little bit of tiddly bits that you need to listen to about brakes. I'm gonna throw some kind of random numbers at you for a second, but they kind of line up. If you've got OEM brake pads that might start brake fading at, let's say 600 degrees, and you've got Hawk pads or EBS or some sort of race level pad on the other side of your car that actually start performing well once you warm them up at 500 and up degrees, you're gonna have some very, very strange drivability characteristics. My 100% opinion is talk to the manufacturers of your race pads or just stick to street pads if you're driving on the street. I know, I know, I know. A lot of people don't wanna hear that. However you're setting up your car to drive is how you should be testing out your brakes. If you're setting up for all out race mode, it's probably not gonna break well around the street because you're making some compromises to make it so it does all good in all out race mode. I've just disconnected our rear brake line fitting and the fact that this isn't really leaking that much fluid tells me we might need a residual valve in our system. I've gone to great lengths, no puns intended, to make sure that the booster pin depth of the master cylinder is correct and that our pedal isn't putting any unneeded pressure on the system. If you've got way too much pressure on your push rod, you could actually be covering up the fills of your master cylinder and could cause the same issue. The fact of the matter is that this is an under dash brake system and it's sitting quite low on the firewall, lower than factory. This is an air ride car, depending on how she's going down the road, brake fluid doesn't really want to go the direction that would logically go to even bleed your brakes. Like, we should be losing fluid here like a sieve, whatever a sieve is. And it, it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a residual valve on here for bare brakes, a two pounder, because that's what you need for disc brakes. And we're gonna see also how that tightens up the feel of my pedal. Cause I think there's just a little bit more travel. I think we're gonna take out two things with two birds, stone, bird stones. Bird stones. I'm mounting our Wilwood proportioning valve and our bare brake residual valve in the rear of the car, purely for ra laziness reasons. I don't, I don't want to take anything else on the front. But the residual valve has to go in front of the proportioning valve. And I print, 3D printed a little cute, adorable bracket to space a proportioning valve right in the spot that I wanted. I'm not really sold on why Willwood makes the knob so big that if you mount it to the frame, it won't turn. Not, not exactly sure on that one, but this will take care of that issue. Be sure to do some wet weather testing. That's actually my favorite testing. It should be the final straw of setting up your brakes. Get on a wet road, slam on your brakes in a very safe environment. Don't do this in front of school children unless you need to. Then go ahead and have somebody standing outside your car watching your front end and your rear end to make sure that the rear doesn't lock up first when you're trying to come to a very controlled stop on wet ground. If that happens, that's dangerous, and you do not want the rear end of your car locking up before the front. Now that we've got everything installed, let's go on our final. closes like a dream. Final test to see what our brake temperature differences are and see if I can feel anything new in my life. And there you go, 100% unbiased results. Well, they were kind of biased towards the, the front actually, towards the end there. 
But yeah, we 100% made a slightly different difference and that's good enough for me on this channel. So gotta find a wet playground to let this old car go roll around on to make sure the rear brakes don't lock up under, you know, conditions, but that's we're pretty close to just actually like what a normal car should be, actually. Really gotta, I really gotta pin this brake system down. Or, uh, other, other people's lives are at stake here. And if you've got a street car that's mean in the sheets and something in the sheets. There's something, something odd about this. The fact, oh, just got brake fluid in my eye. Okay. 